Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos. I'm Kenneth the AJ. Computer's acting funny. Just a little bit. Guys. Okay, I have a few messages. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing all things to my remembrance. The first message is, if the Lord has told you to go in peace away from somebody and you were or they used to go to your church, you are not to still try to help them because your help is fleshly help. And so you pick and choose when you want to help versus when you're really needed as a man or woman servant of God. And so you shouldn't be trying to, I shouldn't be hearing nothing from you. That's the point of everybody going in peace. If it's any name that I had to say over the last few years due to harassment, trespassing, spiritual attacks through Phoenix, this revelation such and such, Nobody should be in communication. That's what a restraining order is. In the spiritual realm, it's a no contact order. So you can't help me and we have a no contact order for my sanity. For me to have peace in my mind. So... That's the first message I got. Whether you bishop such and such, prophet such and such, just no talking. <laughs> let me get it wrong and then let God deal with me if, if that was to happen. But I see God giving me peace. So I know he's telling you to leave me alone and Samuel or Moses and you keep trying to have a word. Especially when it comes to this marriage that I'm get, that I'm getting ready to have, if it will ever happen, Lord. And so, you don't get to budge in and say no. Go back to Alex, or you can't get married. That's demonic. That's the devil. No, you gotta put up with me, or you can't get married. That's demonic. That's the devil. I'm going to kill you and my baby if you don't come back to me. If I don't kill you first while you living here. That's demonic. Spiritually speaking, for me, that's the devil. Even though my threats, my death threats and shit don't be spiritualist and spiritual that. But y'all MFs be actually trying to shit. Sorry, what was it going again with that? <laughs> oh, Lord. And so when the Lord is saying, when he tells you to leave someone alone, you don't get to bully them and abuse them and to talking to you again and to speaking to you again. But you have to be an adult, receive what's happening and go in peace. If a man say he don't want you no more, the new woman shouldn't be hearing your name all day because you manifest in being psychotic. If a woman tells you she's done with that relationship, who the fuck are you to send a death threat and say either you going to be with me or I'm going to kill you? Whether you say it or do it, manifest it spiritually, however you be trying to stalk or whatever, watch your tongue. Nobody's scared of y'all asses. Who the hell y'all think y'all are? All these goddamn death threats. You can't live your life happy and I'ma kill you and you think you gonna live? No, nigga, catch this sword from Jesus Christ that's still protecting me to this day. From a few weeks ago or a few months ago when somebody else tried to do another hitman. Uh. 
And so now judgment is here for the wicked, but everybody want to throw their hands up and sit back and say, I didn't do nothing. But that's what's being judged. Your actions and how you've been treating me or someone else. Sending spiritual attacks, psychic attacks. Especially to celebrities. Oh my gosh. We woke up one day and had celebrity enemies, guys. <laughs> like, I want to cry because half of these people are upset with me while I'm just like, God, you really did that for me. Like, we, we woke up with this one. Like, we grew up watching like 95% of the celebrities that don't like me so now it's just like half of the time I want to cry because it's just like, <laughs> you got a little bit of clout like <laughs> but you got this one don't like you that one in the whole family like you grew up watching these people and so I'm just here to testify and tell you God is so good can I tell y'all that this one this one that came from little old Carver Ranches. <laughs> Carver Ranches, Florida. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And so if God is keeping me every day, what do you think he's going to do to you because you're in disobedience? You're wrong and not righteous. And he says, I'm not justifying evil. If I command you to let something or someone go, you have to do it. You are not allowed to bully them, to kill them, or even be narcissistic about it because God is truly in control. And so then you want to manipulate this and control that and and this one want to get in your ear and you want to choose enemies over the person and you know it's just it was disgusting the way you treated me <laughs> all y'all and then y'all sit up here and play crazy like nobody did nothing behind closed doors you have to reap what you sow Alf Lucal Moses you're being very demonic God keep telling you to let my marriage go. Let my situation go. Every time he bring a new one, it's you or Maddie. It's you, her, or Revelation or somebody. And then it still go back to you doing the rooted problem at the end of the day. So it's like a little cover up. But it still goes back to Moses or Alf Lukau. You have, you're married with this church and God been telling you to let my marriage situation go for years now. Stop trying to mess up the new and make her go back to the old. He keeps saying that. Especially because he intentionally allowed that man to never show up back then. So you don't stop life demonically and, and lie. And say it's God. And he keeps saying I'm not supporting that. I'm telling you to move in love. I'm telling you to stop forcing her. Into something or with someone. That she's saying no to. She's been saying no to. You're demonically forcing this thing to happen. And then saying but God I live for God I die. And he's telling you you're a sinner. Depart from me. I never knew you since you, you choose what you want to hear from him. So you don't get the same coverage as the righteous. You don't get the same protection as me because I'm in obedience. Because God can't protect both of us and we both right or wrong. But it has to be somebody right and somebody wrong. And we could have both been right, but y'all don't want to adjust to what he's saying. And it's leaving me by myself. And then y'all got all kind of names. Lone Wolf, I be it all day in obedience. When y'all going to come join the squad? 
it's better to obey than disobey all day. Because when you want to get this political party, when you want to get, I still got the almighty God, the same one that's been with me. No weapons. <clears throat> not this one in power, not this church gathered with this church, but I have the heavenly father who keeps saying, I leave the 99 for the one, especially because all y'all was wrong. And y'all said that when I was talking to y'all, he wasn't talking to y'all. He keeps saying, I leave the group of people for the one that's the black sheep. And so you sow seeds of sorrow, you sow seeds of delay, time, obstacles, hardships, jealousy alone. How she get to get that? If I said this as her spiritual parent, God is telling you you're not God. You have a title and you work it under him. And he's telling you what he does is for the people in him. So no, you don't work for me, but you don't get to tell me what to do unless God is in unison. And the truth has to be always out there or exposed or known. Are you allowing... It's good to worship first, but can you hear God? Can you stop and stand still and adjust? Stop flying over my house, Samuel. Like, don't tell, that's what he's saying. Don't tell me to do nothing with God until you can stop harassing me, stalking me, messing up my finances, and I'm still going. God keeps saying, that's why y'all mad. Y'all doing everything out the book, and we still keep going. We still keep at it. We get where that, but we got progress. God said, we're not going backwards because you jealous. We're not going backwards because you can't control this. Where they can, but we're going forward. And so now judgment is here for the people or the wicked that's stopping the progress of God's people saying, I can do it because I'm a spiritual parent. No, you're false. Did God say you can do it? When did you get a title and say, I can move the way I want to move in his authority? You don't. He keeps saying it in the word. So why are you putting the word to somebody else? But when the word comes to you, it's dissolved. It's this. It's what I want to do. It don't happen like that. Everybody has to listen. He says, I left the Holy Spirit. The baptism of the Holy Ghost. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem. Thank you, Lord. Where is it? And you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost is who speaks to us, not a man or a woman, but God himself because of Calvary was able to connect to us from the inside out. And so when you come over stepping instead of getting the stepping as it got as he told you to, you mess up stuff and then make the person pay for it and then look crazy because this one looking at you, that one looking at you because you got all that power and authority messing up like that due to your disobedience. Helping out the wrong people. 
my gosh. And so to be baptized with the Holy Ghost is a conversion experience brought on by the power of God. Brought on by the power of God. Did it say prophet is such and such? Did it say this apostle this? Did it say spiritual parent this? No. Brought on by the power of God. Can I tell you that our living God has more power than you? Even the deities, the entities that's leading your house because he's the almighty divine God. And so when he speaks, we all bow and listen because every knee must be bowed. Every tongue must confess that he's the king. What is your Holy Spirit telling you to do all day that you saying is in love and it's clearly not? 